hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to start our introduction to 3d modeling in maya 2022 so this is the first video and today i'm going to explain how this software works and we're going to get familiar with the ui so when you first open maya it's going to look something like this it might look a little bit intimidating and complex when you're starting but stay with me and we are going to get through all this so in the center we have this space in maya it's called viewport and uh, this is called the grid so we have this file menu up here and it contains all the necessary tools and features to create our models in maya so we have all these options we are going to use in upcoming videos and uh, here we have some menus so you can change all these options by changing this menu so we have this wide range of options here so if you just want to do modeling then uh, you can set it to modeling and it's going to show all the features uh, you need to model your objects and you can cycle through these by the shortcuts you have these function keys on your keyboard from f2 to f6 you can cycle through these uh, panels so if you press f2 then it's going to switch to modeling and with the f3 you can change it to rigging f4 for animation f5 for effects and f6 for rendering and when you change this it's going to show the features and option for the desired selection so if i select the animation it's going to show me all these features and tools i need to create the animation and if we select fx then it's going to show all the tools and features we need to create some special effects in maya so down here we have shelf so we have all the shapes and all the necessary tools here on the shelf we can use and uh, there are some subsection in this shelf we have uh, different kind of shelves here we have a shelf for curves we have uh, a shelf for our polygons we have some sculpting tools rigging tools and tools for animation and all these tools and all these tools we are going to use in upcoming videos as we move on further in this course so if you want to use any of these uh, primitives or shapes we want to add a cube in this uh, viewport we just have to go here and click on this cube and as you can see that a cube has appeared in our viewport so on the right side we have this panel and it has some tools uh, on the top we have this select tool so if you hover your mouse over this tool and it's going to tell you all about this tool and what it does and what the shortcut of this tool is and you can select your object by this tool and uh, down here we have lesser tool so we can make a selection like this with this lesser tool and paint brush we are going to use this brush to make the selection like this now down here we have manipulators so this is our move tool so if we select it we have these gizmo and we can move this shape in any of these axes like this and here we have rotate tool and uh, we can also use the short keys and for the move tool it's w for the rotate it's e and for scale it's r so we can press e to get the rotation tool we can rotate your object like this and with the scale we can press r to get it and scale it in any direction or uniformly now down here we have all these panel layouts so if we click here it's going to give us uh, a code panel layout so it's going to show you four windows and you can also set these windows to any view you want down here we have the split view it's going to show you two windows and you can also change the view of these windows anytime you want and we have this outliner here the outliner contains all the data of your scene so we have a cube in a scene and as you can see we have this uh, polygon cube you can also rename it to organize your project or your scene we can uh, rename it as box and we can also take uh, another shape and you can also rename it so 
in your outliner you can organize your project and it's better to organize your project if you're working on a big scene where you have a lot of objects so renaming your objects will help you not getting confused between what is what so let's close this and uh, down here we have this timeline so this timeline is used when we are creating some animation and here we have some playback controls for this timeline you can play this timeline like this and you can expand this and uh, manually select or enter the number of frames you want to run like this since we are not going to do much animation in this course we are strictly focusing on the 3d modeling so we are not going to use this timeline that much so if you want to go back to the single view what you can do is you can either click here or what you can do is you can select any view you want so for example if i want to maximize this top view i can just select this and press space it's going to make it one single window and i can go back by pressing space again and select this perspective view and press space and it's going to maximize this viewport and now we can work on it so on the right side we have some panels here we have channel box so channel box contains all the scaling rotation and translation information of our objects so you can use these gizmo to rotate move or scale your object or you can use these parameters so if you want to move your object in the uh, y axis you can just select this and with the middle mouse button you can increase or decrease the values and as you can see that your object is going up or down in the y-axis or you can manually change this value like this and same thing goes for all these parameters so if you want to scale this in the y-axis so you can select this scale y and with the middle mouse button you can change the values like this or you can manually enter the values And now we have this modeling toolkit here and it contains some very necessary tools for our modeling workflow and uh, these are the tools we are pretty much going to use all the time in this course so you can access these tools here or what you can do is you can go to the modeling section and you can go to these menus and then these sub menus and also select these tools and as you can see that this booleans is also here and in this modeling toolkit so it's easier to use the modeling toolkit instead of just going to these menus all the time and uh, looking for the tool you need so at last we have this attribute editor so this attribute editor is a more detailed version of our channel box it contains all the necessary information about our models or our objects such as our material information so if i'm using any material for our model then we can tweak that material or control all those parameters in attribute editor so we can change the color of our object you can go here and uh, take whatever you want like this now if you selected this object and if you want to just focus on this part and not the entire scene what you can do is you can press f on your keyboard and it's going to bring this object into focus so that's pretty much it for this video and i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one